All right, so this video is probably gonna be a little bit longer. There's a lot of kind of going on this unit here. Um, this one's gonna be angles of intersecting secants and tangents. Um, this one has a lot of set rules. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the rules real quick. Um, I recommend, um, after I have all of these written out, stopping the video. Uh, taking a screenshot or even writing on yourself of these rules. So when you look at a problem, you can just look at your kind of cheat sheet of rules and kind of go from there. Um, so the first one here, all right, if you look at this one, we have two secant lines, right? It kind of almost makes like an X through it. Um, so our goal is to figure out how we can find this angle Z. And we're going to use um, the different types of arc lengths here. So the formula for this one is you take the two arcs. I right? notice the two arcs are the ones that are being enclosed by the X, like this one right here and this one right here. Okay, so I would say this one is x plus y. You would divide those two angles by two, and you would get your angle z. This one is when you have two secants that are going through it. Okay, so instead of going x and staying within, all right, see how the x is on the inside circle? This x is on the outside of the circle here. You're going to still use those two arcs, all right? So you're going to use the x that's enclosed by the um, those two secant lines and the y that's enclosed by those two secant lines. But this time, instead of adding, we're actually going to subtract those. So I'm going to say the bigger arc x minus the smaller arc y divided by 2 equals z. All right, so those are your secant lines. The last one here, all right, is two tangent lines because they don't ever touch, all right, that circle that it touches it and kind of rebounds off. It doesn't go through the circle like the secant lines do. Um, same thing, we're going to use the arcs that those two tangent lines kind of enclose. Now, the arcs they use here, they use this big X right here and the big Y right here. Okay, so pretty much use the entire circle there. So we're going to use the larger arc, X minus Y, the smaller arc, divided by equals z. All right, so right here is when you're going to want to stop, write these down, take a picture, whatever it might be, so we can kind of refer to them. I'm going to put them up here so we can keep looking back and forth between them. All right, so I have my rules up here. All right, we're looking at our first problem. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to figure out which of our three rules we're going to use here. So you look at the type of lines we have. So we have this line right here and this line right here. So to me, those look like tangent lines because they don't go on the inside of that circle. So we're going to use the tangent line one, this rule down here, x minus y divided by 2 equals z. Okay, um, so we're going to figure out our big kind of thing here. So this is our angle right here, this big angle. Okay, do we know what that is? Unfortunately, we don't. All right, so we're going to call it x. I shouldn't put that here. This is x. Okay. We don't know what this one is. All right. So, but we do know this whole circle should equal what? It should equal 360. If we know from here, this r, all the way to here is p. Okay. We know all of that is what we're calling x. We can call this 360 minus x. And then we have this angle right here. So we're going to use our formula here. So the first one is the biggest angle. All right, my biggest arc here is this x. Minus our smaller one. Our smaller one we called 360 minus x. We divide that by 2 based on our rule. And it equals the outside angle. It equals our outside angle. Our outside, outside angle here is 82. All right, from here, we're going to treat it as an algebra problem we're going to solve. All right, so I need to get the x's all by themselves. They have a lot kind of attached. So the first thing I'm going to get rid of this 2. To get rid of this 2, we're going to multiply both sides by 2. Okay. All right, so over here, the 2's would actually boop, boop, cancel out. So I'd have x minus 360 minus x equals, over here, we're going to do 82 times 2. 82 times 2 is 164. Okay, I'm gonna get myself some more room here. All right, from here, what I think we still get the x, I get rid of these parentheses. How do I get rid of these parentheses here? All right, we're gonna distribute that negative through. When I distribute that negative, I get x minus 360 plus x equals 164. All right, I'm going to combine like terms. I see two x's here, so I'm going to say 2x minus 360 equals 164. Okay, I'm going to get this by myself. How do I get rid of this negative 360? 
you're right, I added over. Okay. 164 plus 360 is 524 equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2. And x would be 262. So PTR x is 262. If we want to, we can find this angle right here. 360 minus 262 is 98. Okay, but they wanted PTR, PTR. So we found that value. We found the x. All right, that's a tough problem. This is the toughest problem you will encounter. But you will always do this exact same thing. All right, we'll do another one of these in a little bit. Let's try another problem here. All right, up next, we got this picture. I'm looking at those type of lines. I'm going to call these secant lines because they go through the circle. So I'm going to find my example here. Here's my example. So it says we take the bigger arc minus the smaller arc, divide by two, and that gets my outside angle here. So my picture, my bigger arc. All right, my bigger arc here is 120. So I'm going to say 120. I should put this over here. 120. Minus my smaller arc, 36, divided by 2, equals my outside angle. But we don't know what that is. So if we don't know what it is, we're going to call it x. All right, from here, we're going to solve it algebraically. I would say, I'm going to get rid of this 2 first. How do we get rid of that 2? Multiply both sides by 2. Over here, the 2s would cancel out. So you'd be left with 120 minus 36 equals 2x. And that was just math. 120 minus 36 is 84. Divide by 2, and you get 42. Another thing you could do here is you could actually just do this math right here. I could say 120 minus 36, and I get 84. 84 divided by 2 is 42. So you don't have to solve it algebraically. You can kind of do whichever way you want. All right, another example. All right, this one here, um, I think these are two secant lines. And noticing here that you stay inside the circle. So we're going to use this first example up here where we take the two arcs and we add them together and divide by two. So we got to figure out what my two arcs are. So over here, we have this 90 degrees. We know one of our arcs is going to be this, this 94, which means on the other side of the circle will be their other arc. But here's the issue. Do we know what the other arc is? No, so we're going to call that x. All right, so we take our two arcs. So my one arc is 94, so I'd say 94 plus my other arc is x, we divide by 2, and we get our inside angle. Our inside angle here, we said, was 98 degrees. And from here, we're going to solve that using our algebra skills. To get rid of this 2, you multiply by 2 on both sides. These would cancel out. Subtract the 94. And we get that x equals 102. Perfect. All right, one last one to do. We're going to do one that we already did just to kind of refresh our memory. Because this is the hardest one. All right, this is the one that we kind of did that 316, all that kind of math and stuff. So it's a little bit more difficult. All right, so we're going to use this one here. We take the bigger arc minus the small arc, divide by 2, equals 360. Now remember, we call our larger arc what? X. Remember what we called our inside arc here? 360 minus X. Because if I look at that, that whole circle is inside of there. All right, so now we have all of our pieces marked here. So we take the biggest arc. Our biggest arc is X. So we're going to say X minus our smaller arc. Divided by what? 2. Equals what's our outside angle we have here? 64. From here, we're going to solve. So I would times both sides by 2. I get x minus 360 minus x equals 128. I would distribute the negative through. x minus 360 plus x equals 128. All right, I'm going to combine. I'm going to go up here, combine some like terms. I've got 2x minus 360 equals 128. I'm going to add 360 to both sides. Okay, 
360 plus 128. 488 divided by 2. And I get x is 244. Okay. I get that's a very difficult one, but you will always, always, always use this equation right here when you see a problem like that. The only thing that's going to change is whatever outside angle they give you, but it'll always be this set up in the exact same kind of system there. Let me know if you guys have questions.